Ancient Uparts are undoubtedly one of the most interesting subjects in regard to lost antiquities. Many of these artifacts, due to the locations in which they are found within, or the immense age displayed within the erosion seen upon the object, makes them one of the most controversial areas of study. How can one answer the question of how an iron pot is found within a solid lump of coal within a seam over 300 million years in age? Or how the clear imprint of a chariot wheel is found fossilized deep within a mine in Russia? These artifacts, found at hundreds of feet deep in sediment, or displaying a wooden handle petrified into coal, display an undeniably immense age, and as such, are solid pieces of evidence to support our posit of there having been a series of now lost civilizations stretching far into the past. Nature is infamous in being cyclical. Why then would we not be permitted by mainstream academia to presume this be the case for the climates of the Earth as well. Regardless of this digression, however, the subject of tonight's video is an incredible artifact which we believe to be that of an ancient upart. However, due to its incredible characteristic, it is being masqueraded as that of a much later creation by a far more recent ancestor. Known as the Sword of Gujan, this intriguing artifact has somehow resisted the effects of time and although it is enormously old, is seemingly as sharp and as shiny today as the day it was made. This remarkable characteristic, although unexplained, is not the only interesting thing about the sword. It also features an incredibly old form of writing. Eight characters are written in an ancient script, now known as bird-worm seal script, literally birds and worms characters, owing to the intricate decorations of the defining strokes. It is very old and is attested to be a variant of seal script. In 1965, while an archaeological survey was being performed along the second main aqueduct of the Zhang River Reservoir in Jingzhou, Ubei, a series of ancient tombs were discovered. A dig started in the middle of October 1965, ending in January 1966, eventually revealing more than 50 ancient tombs. More than 2,000 artifacts were recovered from the sites, including the sword, having been found inside a casket together with a human skeleton. The casket was discovered in the December of 1965 at the Wangshan site No. 1, 7 kilometers from the ruins of Ying, currently called Jinishang, once the ancient capital of Chu. The sword was found sheathed in a wooden scabbard, finished in black lacquer. The scabbard had an almost airtight fit with the sword body. Unsheathing the sword revealed an untarnished blade, despite the tomb being soaked in underground water for over 2,000 years. How did this sword retain its incredible condition? Why does it seem as if it is resistant to aging? What sort of metallurgy did the swordsmith once use to create such an amazing object? It is clearly an ancient upart and one we postulate has an origin now hidden within the bowels of history. It is a remarkable thing, and as such, is highly compelling.